What's up everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Tomans Guitars and Basses. If you're new here, I'll put the whole playlist in the description box down below, but I'm sure I've already covered your favorite song, so go check it out. If it's not here, just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, that helps us out a lot. So thank you very much in advance. And with all that said, let's start with today's song, which is I'll Take You Back by Brad Paisley. Alright, so I'm not going to spend too long trying to introduce or reintroduce Brad Paisley. The guy had a signature guitar even before he was born. He's an absolute legend of country, rock, American, uh, Telecaster music in general. And I chose that particular song because, well, it's really hard to play and I really like the sound of it. So I'm going to start with the guitar for today and with no surprise whatsoever, I went with this Fender Brat Paisley signature guitar. You notice that I never go for signature guitars, it's always usually a little bit too easy, right? But that's basically a run-of-the-mill Telecaster. It looks like a single pickup one, but it's actually a dual pickup. It's behind the, uh, the pick guard here, so your positions are going to be the same, right, as on any Telecaster. I really picked this one this time because, well, for once it was in stock. <laughs> for once, the, the, the artist that I was covering had the signature guitar in stock, so I kind of jumped on it. Also, you know, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that sparkle. So much sparkle. So that's going to be my guitar for the day. I have no doubt that this is going to work just fine. Let's have a look now at our amp and pedal setup. Brad Paisley is a very famous user of Dr. Z amplifiers, but the thing to know about these amps is that they were created after Brad's first love, which was the Vox AC30. And as far as I'm aware, uh, before he switched to Dr. Z, even though it was pretty early on in his career, he was using almost exclusively Vox AC30s. And the thing with these amplifiers is that to get the hair out of them, right, the, the, the edge of breakup kind of thing, you gotta run them really, really, really loud. It's a little bit too loud for here. It, we're not just like, it's not just a studio. There's people working around here. So I couldn't crank a Vox AC30 in that room. So I went with the AC30's little brother. Uh, this is the uh, Vox AC15C1. Essentially the same kind of channel configuration with the top boost and the normal channel. You also get the trem and the reverb. Uh, we're not going to use any today, but still, you've got it. Uh, great amplifier and exactly the same kind of break up once you get at a decent volume. So that's going to be my amp for today. Uh, pushing it just to get the, that edge of breakup kind of sound. I'm not going to use any overdrive pedals on that introduction, although if you do listen to some live versions of it, it's slightly gainier than on the record, which tends to happen anyways. So you could still push it with a light overdrive to get closer to that live sound. But if you want to get close to the album uh, type of sound, just pushing the amp on its own will be enough. There is one effect that we're going to be using today, however, and that is the delay. I have the Echoplex delay by MXR on the floor. It's a brilliant Echorec type of pedal that's going to suit very nicely for that country sort of slap back kind of delay. Without the pedal engaged, uh, I'm going to sound like this. <laughs> And now with the delay, just some short notes so that you can understand the kind of slapback we're talking about and then in context. Obviously you don't want that kind of delay to be too long and come in the way of your playing, but just that kind of slapback really complements the whole rig, right? It's a telly into a an AC-15 with a slap back. You can't go more country than this. But all in all, I really, really enjoy that sound, so I'm gonna stick with it, and we're gonna go on to the final part of that video, which is definitely the most important, and is how to play the riff. <laughs> 
Before we start the explanation, please keep in mind that there are links in the description box down below to everything that I'm using today, more recommendations as well as the tabs for that intro. And God knows we're gonna need some because I literally just spent two hours trying to, trying to get it right. It's not just about knowing the notes, it's just like once you're in context, once you've got it going, all right, so first step is you wanna drop your guitar down to D. So E standard all the way, and then you drop the low E down to D. And we're gonna start by having a look at the fretting side of it. That doesn't look complicated. And in fairness, the fretting side of it is not. But we're coming now down to the two things that make that song incredibly hard to play, and that's gonna be the picking side and mostly the speed. already some sort of experience with chicken picking and that kind of country guitar playing, you might have an easier time learning that song, right? Because it's, it's licks that are well known, it's licks that Brad not overuses, but definitely uses a lot. So that's gonna be very uh, recurrent. If you learn these, you're gonna be able to apply them to many different songs of his mostly, but just country guitar songs in general. That said, it's definitely not your beginner guitar player kind of a lick. I wouldn't advise starting with that. There's a lot of coordination involved. There's a lot of frustration involved. I'm still really struggling to play it right, but it's really satisfying when you do get to do the full run, you know, at, at full speed. It's, it's such a fun riff. Just going back on the fretting side for a second, because I've seen a lot of videos on the internet showing a different kind of fretting for these notes, mostly using a slide from that position down to that position uh, instead of, of staying on fret, like anchored on fret three. I'm not 100% sure of what I'm saying right here, but according to what I saw of, of Brad playing live, uh, he's very much anchored on the, on the third fret right here. That being said, you will find that sort of alternative way to play it and it sounds almost the same except for that, you know, sliding sort of movement that you've got in there. But that's why I've been, uh, I've been trying to play it this way. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on I'll Take You Back by Brad Paisley. I really hope you enjoyed that video. As usual, I hope that maybe you've learned a thing or two today. And if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on the next ones. Before you leave, please let me know in the comment section which song you'd like me to cover in the future, and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. But in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week, and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit the Tone. Thank you.